Hello and welcome. Bhaskar Naptesh here from Pharma Growth Hub. And as a part of today's uh, video, we are going to discuss about one of the very important question when it comes to dissolution method development and very precisely the selection of a dissolution medium. Because selection of a dissolution medium is a very critical process of any dissolution method development because that is going to bring the required discriminatory power the required in vitro in vivo correlation that is going to bring required reproducibility which is very much essential throughout drug product development or the manufacturing now in this video we will precisely talk about selection of a dissolution medium for immediate release product with the bcs1 drug so the bcs class 1 drug have a good aqueous solubility as well as good permeability that means the drug substance is highly soluble from ph 1.2 to ph 6.8 and it also has the permeability of more than 85 percent and that classifies the drug into a bcs class 1 so their bioavailability is close to 100 percent provided there is no decomposition happening in gastrointestinal tract and there is no first pass metabolism. And these are the example of BCS class 1 drugs, acetaminophen and metoprolol. Now irrespective of the medium, the closely 100% drug release is possible throughout the gastrointestinal tract starting from the gastric fluid then intestinal fluid still the colon and that's what makes the drug substance a bcs class 1 after administration the dosage form quickly passes into the stomach and usually get disintegrates there so logically a medium that reflects gastric conditions should be preferred dissolution medium now what is the gastric conditions represented by it is represented by the simulated gastric fluid as per the usp which consists of hydrochloric acid sodium chloride and having a ph of 1.2 because i will talk about the necessity of enzyme in the next point so the sgf without enzyme as per usp can be the preferred dissolution medium or simple medium like 0.1 normal SCL or 0.01 normal SCL can also work very well. Most of the times for BCS class 1 drug substance, if it is IR drug products and the manufacturing is not controlling the release of the drug substance, it the drug release is supposed to get happen into the gastric fluid. And hence the, 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 the conditions, the composition of the gastric fluid becomes a very natural choice as a dissolution medium. For some capsules, an SGF with, with enzyme like pepsin may have to be added to avoid the cross-linking or the pellicle formation. But you have to prove that the dissolution is getting hindered because of the formation of cross-linking because it contains the uh, the capsule cell made up of gelatin and in the subsequent dissolution experiment you can add enzyme pepsin which works very well at around the pH of 1.2 to 4 and then understand how the drug release happens alternatively dissolution with pH of small intestine from pH 4.5 to 6.8, especially for weakly acidic drug, can be think of. Now, why you can think of this pH window, the range, in case if your drug substance is weakly acidic in the nature. So, if your drug substance is weakly acidic in nature, its a dissolution may get hampered in SG in in the gastric fluid in the simulated gastric fluid in 0.1 normal SCL or 0.01 normal SCL because it's a very highly acidic condition and the weakly acidic drug substance 
may limit their dissolution into a acidic dissolution medium and for that reason you can think of the pH which is uh, from the small intestinal region in between pH 4.5 to maybe 6.8. I hope you understand in what situation only you can think about the intestinal pH range. Now the question could be you know why water, why water could not be used as a dissolution medium. The problem with the water is it doesn't have the buffer capacity and the pH of water varies from day to day. And because of that, the water may not be the best choice, especially if the drug substance is acidic or basic in the nature. Now, in case if your drug substance is a non-polar, in that case, the pH, the buffer capacity does not have any role to play and water can be selected as a preferred dissolution medium. But in case if your drug substance is polar, either acidic or basic in the nature, its ionization can certainly get impacted because of the pH variation and which can result into a dissolution. So for that reason, the water cannot be, water can not be a preferred choice in most of the scenarios. So I hope you must have now got a overview on how you can answer the question on selection of dissolution medium for IR product containing the BCS class 1 drug substance. Thank you so much.